Yo, what is up everybody? Today we're back in for another video. If you don't know who I am, I'm Desmond and welcome to DM Fishing. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a mix of fresh water and salt water. Um, I'm back at the golf course where I caught those Placos at um, last video. So, so far, um, I just kind of arrived here maybe like 10 minutes ago. And I've already got a huge bite on like a freaking 36 inch snook when he jumped out the water to hit my lure. Oh my God. So I'm gonna go over my tackle and we're gonna get in the video. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a mix of fresh water and salt water. So stay tuned. Actually, I'm so like out of breath because I was just chasing something that was creating a huge wake through the water. And I think it was a gator. I don't know um, because I saw him earlier and he created the same huge wake. And if you see me looking in the water, that's what I'm looking for right now. Cause this wake is like, it just keeps coming. Um, so yeah okay so as you see something just jumped there as i was literally back over what i was using so i'm using a sienna 4000 on a Denko charger xt uh, medium heavy seven foot rod and with 25 pound reaction tackle line to 20 pound mono zebco monofilament and a berkeley power daily so like i said i already got a huge bite um and i just missed it and actually i see something swimming through the water right now it's it's crazy. Actually, I caught my first snook yesterday. Um, that will be on the screen now. All right. So, yeah. I caught my first snook yesterday. And today, I'm going back for snook, tarpon, whatever I can catch here at this golf course. And, you know, I'm going to go for some... Uh, I'm going to go for some bass, too, farther on the golf course. So, yeah, let's get into the action and enjoy. The bite on Snook right now is so crazy. I wish I could show you guys. My camera's dead for my chest strap, so I can't really show you what I'm seeing right now. But the bite is lethal. So I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I just got onto a huge Snook almost. <laughs> everybody so um i left my rod back there because i'm going to go check on my bike real quick but it seems the bite had turned off um i don't know if you guys saw but i was always i was i got like one or two bites um and i mean it just kind of stopped so yeah uh i think i came right right after they were biting but whatever was here that was creating the huge weight Hey guys, look. You see that moving through the water there? Something. But to be honest, there are huge fish other than snook here. Because this water, the water here is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Because so, earlier today, I did see, like I told you, I saw an alligator. Which was the first time I've ever seen an alligator here. Like, this is supposed to be like... So the canal is salt water and then the stream that goes through the golf course is supposed to be like brackish so it's so weird and where i was that was like that was perfect brackish prime time so i'm just confused on how there's so many things here because i mean there's like nile tilapia here there's freaking 
huge um holy crap huge sheep's head i have never seen a sheep's head here before whoa wait, 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 wait. i don't know if you guys can see but they just like right as i came through here they like zoomed away no huge sheep's head dang i'm like i'm so confused should have brought my freaking doa so i have a doa lure um that i like using it's um doa freaking doa shrimp and that now that works really good i've caught some fish on that no, i've caught some fish on that um so yesterday when i caught my snook i used a bucktail jig but a doa shrimp can catch pretty much any species that i want to catch guys look something else is moving through the water look at the wake it's creating but i can't see what it is because the sun's going down which i need to hurry up and go get the, do this freaking bass fishing before the sun goes down too much because they bring the bass lure to be honest I could always come back tomorrow man i'm gonna come back tomorrow anyways like i was i've been i'm i've been playing like come fishing here the whole all week long it's just so I'm not gonna see if i can catch anything because i mean yeah i've gotten bites here before but that was that was the biggest fish i have ever seen um like bite my own lure so just gonna get the bike i don't know why the camera's moving so much yeah yeah so i'm gonna get the bike and yeah um i'm gonna go do some bass fishing i guess I'm a, as i walk down here a little bit more if there's anything else creating a wake or um if i'm seeing like a whole bunch of fish that are just moving through here i'll stay i'll do make this a saltwater video this is so weird look he's moving back through you know what i'm gonna come back through here with my doa shrimp one of these days and there's mullet here so i need to come bring my cast net too <laughs> i need to make like a whole fishing trip here um I was actually here with my friend a few days ago. We didn't get anything. But I mean, there were mullet everywhere. So, yeah, I've never seen a sheep's head here before, though. And these are big ones, like huge. I've never seen them so big here before. I've seen big sheep's head, but these have got to be like almost the biggest ones I've ever seen. So, yeah, I might go do a little bit of bass fishing because it's starting to get dark out. Um, I'm probably only gonna have a few minutes, or I might just stay. I'm like contemplating. Maybe I shouldn't put this in two videos. All right. Um. Cause I live like five minutes away from here on a bike ride, so I'm trying to think whether I should just like chill here. Like, whether I should just keep snook fishing or if I should go, you know, try to get some bass fishing in too. So at least I catch something. But I don't know. I'm just try to, I'm gonna try to see. Um, I'm going to put you guys away real quick, just for maybe about five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep fishing the salt water to see if there's any actual bites if the bite is still on and if it is then i'll i'll let you guys know but if it isn't so be it all right everybody so um i decided to stay with the salt water just a little bit and um cross the road here but yeah i still decided to stay with the salt water a little bit and no bites at all so i'm coming to this other side uh to where the seawall is as you see you see, well, pretty sunset all over. So, yeah. Try to come fish here. See if there's anything. And if there's not, I'm probably going to leave in like five more minutes. All right, everybody. So, um, I'm back home. This is the end of the video. Like I said, I only got those few bites. Um, started getting torn up by bugs a lot and other things. So, 
you know, it's all good. But yeah, this is the end of the video. So if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss upload. And if you want to see more like this, just make sure to comment down below. And like I said, don't forget to leave a like. And until next time, peace.